theme of the day is pickle lemonade. And now we're gonna be working on packaging. I am going to start with a pickle illustration. So I, I am going to draw us a <laughs> shape and I'm gonna turn the shape this green from our library. Distort and transform and I'm gonna go to zigzag. And I'm gonna go to smooth, go object, expand appearance. So I duplicated my shape, pulled it down and then I'm gonna do a range send it back. And I'm just kind of roughly aligning these from here to the other side. All right, and then I'm gonna do another pickle, but I'm gonna do like a different perspective. So this is like pickle from the side. And now we're gonna look the pickle straight off. <laughs> In the eyes. <laughs> In the eyes. I'm gonna do one that someone's like taking a bite out of. So <laughs> I'm gonna draw these in white. So click all of those. I'm gonna go back to my Pathfinder right here. I'm gonna merge those. I'm gonna highlight both of these. And then I'm gonna do minus front, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my lines. I'm going to draw a simple circle. Shrink these guys a little bit. And then I'm gonna duplicate them. Again, just option, shift, click, drag. And then I'm gonna highlight all of these. And then I'm gonna come right here on the toolbar. Object on a path. I'm gonna click this, then I'm gonna click the path. And now that we have pickles on the path. Oh my gosh. So say we wanna change the spacing, we can increase the spacing of them. If that blew your mind, are you ready for this one? Oh this gosh. one, they all turn, <gasps> which is just fun. Amazing. Or you can come in individually and move them around. Like say I'm like, oh, you know what? This one needs to go here. Um, you can also rotate the whole pickle palooza all together. Beautiful. There's a lot that you can do with objects on a path. I'm gonna do a tall rectangle for us. I'm gonna eyedropper it in this purple, I think. So I'm gonna do a fast version of this. I'm gonna do edit, um, edit colors, recolor artwork, and I'm just gonna pull this up to white and hit okay. And so that's just kind of a faster way to work through changing yeah. it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this pickle. So we have our lemon. I'm gonna use the same line style. I think I'm just gonna keep the lavender as little like circles almost. These are gonna be our little leaves. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna join these. Click on both of these guys. Again, I'm just style matching the taper line Cute. just to give us a little dimension. I'm gonna group this and then I'm gonna save. So I have a JPEG image here. I have my uh, vector artwork here. I'm gonna click on both. And then I'm gonna come down here to my contextual toolbar and hit create mockup. So that is how we're gonna do a mockup in Illustrator, which is super fun. So I also wanna work on the front then of this pack. So in here, I'm gonna use smart objects and I download this template from Adobe Stock and I'm gonna come in here and uh, as you can tell, this is the front from this little mask. This is gonna be affecting the front of the box. So I'm gonna come in here and I am going to pull in our library and I'm gonna draw a little shape for us here. So coming here, so I'm gonna draw these in individually then and kind of move these around a little bit more. All right, cool. This is looking good. And then I know that there were some really fun assets in here that were like fresh. Yeah, uh -huh. that's gotta come in yes. here on the packaging. Let's hit Command S and see how we are looking then. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna look for this top can. Fun, and Cute. I'm imagining that, that as like is wrapping yes. all the way around, right? Okay. Yes. And then I'm gonna open up these ones on the side and just paste and re-add these here, so that way we're building out our little pack here. So let me make sure I'm on my right layer. I'm just gonna eyedropper it to this, Command S. So Command S is saving it because these are all smart objects to the front uh, image that we're working off of. So fun. Okay, this is looking great. It's very cute. And we can change the background color. So let's sample that maybe to, oh my gosh, it's so fun. How fun. Okay, I'm gonna just bring a rectangle here. I'm gonna bring in this asset. I'm gonna pull it in here. Oh my gosh. Cute. It's looking good. Let's change our background. So let's make it maybe like a light purple. Yeah. Okay, I think this is fun. I like this. Yeah, Yeah. great. Good, okay. So this is kind of like what a group of them would look like. And then we kind of just have this like fun solo shot version. Thank you guys so much for joining. See you soon. Bye.